I'm David Kozart. Uh, I'm the program director for the Fatherhood Initiative at the Lexington Leadership Foundation and have been in the field of fatherhood for some 20 years now uh, in various roles, uh, from coordinating programs to facilitating groups, uh, case management, direct service delivery with fathers uh, and with families. In that 20 years, uh, I've been fortunate to be in partnership with Prevent Child Abuse Kentucky for about 10 of those years. And so I want to talk a little bit about uh, fatherhood, and uh, but really don't want to uh, stay on the challenges too long. We want to really move swiftly to solutions that communities, agencies, and even individuals or houses of faith can use to address and seek to mitigate some of the challenges that come with father absence. What we know is father Absence is a pervasive issue. In America, you can find varying numbers when you start doing your research on seeking statistics, but most recent at 19 million, moving more to one in four. We do know that that number is multiplied when you start looking at uh, fathers and families of color or urban families. I do want to pause there and say, wow, the numbers for uh, fathers in African American or urban families seem to be higher. Uh, the issue is just as pervasive among their peers and uh, there is a higher percentage perhaps of African American fathers that are projected to be out of the household. New information tells us that the condition is really no worse than it is in their peer groups uh, that often that fathers in the African American community are present. There may be unmarried and so we're really not accounting for that. I say that because in the field of work we need to make certain that we understand that this issue is as pervasive really across cultures. There are some social factors that exacerbate the issues among African American fathers primarily uh, despaired incarceration. We know that about any negative life outcome is more likely to occur among children if fathers are not present in the home during their early developmental stages and throughout their childhood. Uh, we know that a child from a father absent home is five times more likely to live in poverty uh, and in crime. They're nine times more likely to drop out of school. We know that there's a stronger likelihood for them to become pregnant as a teenager, substance abuse, any number of things uh, is more likely to happen if there's father absent. Uh, I like to remind people to use that not as just an indictment to fathers, but also an endorsement to fathers. Because any element, when absent, causes that much pathology, we know that that's a critical element of the importance of fatherhood and for our agencies to be uh, considering fathers as they plan their work. From my experiences and from the programs I've been a part of, there's a principle that comes to bear that I think is really effective, and that's a collective impact uh, model for addressing this issue. The power of collectivity with such a large issue is critical. And, and so we should seek to employ models that bring together many sectors to address this work. It's the most effective way of doing it, from my experiences, and the most efficient way. First of all, you should have father-friendly and, if were possible, father-led initiatives that bring together individuals in the community to address the issue through responsible fatherhood training or workshops or what you might call parenting classes. There's also need to talk about healthy relationships when you're seeking to address issues with fathers. The very fathers that may be absent for whatever reason also come from backgrounds that involve trauma, involve some adverse childhood events and experiences of their own. So when you're thinking about doing programs for fathers, remember those components as well. Bring experts from those fields. So you will always want to have partnerships with domestic violence agencies. You want to have partnerships with the child welfare systems, healthcare agencies, school and uh, governmental institutions. And certainly there are a great deal of resources also in the faith-based community. And one of the models that we found very effective is identifying individuals of faith and goodwill to help you deliver the services. There are temples, mosques, and houses of faith that have individuals. They have as the foundation of their theology and of, of their work, service to others and goodwill to others. Some of the components of a healthy or a good fatherhood program 
I'm certainly going to talk about child development and appropriate expectations and conflict resolution, communication skills, because many of the times fathers are co-parenting and not in the household. There still is this need for individuals, father and mother, to communicate. So communication skills are critical uh, to increase and enhance co-parenting. And what we know is there are two parents that are working cooperatively on behalf of the children. That makes likelihood for a healthy child and healthy outcomes in the life of that child. Help people understand that uh, while economic support of a child by a father is very important, what we know from research and from bodies of work out there, it's really the emotional and the social support that a father uh, provides for their child that really breaks generational cycles of pathology and challenge. And so we don't want to discount the fact that children need pampers, shoes, school fees, housing, uh, food, but we also don't want to undermine uh, the importance of the presence and the emotional support and the self-image and the confidence uh, and the many skills uh, that that builds in a child. Uh, Co-parenting is critical and that adults um, move understanding that the child's well-being is contingent on the cooperation of those two adults that are the parents of that child. So for more information on this, to be part of the movement of fatherhood in Kentucky or beyond, you are welcome to contact us here at the Fatherhood Initiative at the Lexington Leadership Foundation. And Prevent Child Abuse Kentucky is a great partner with us. They have many resources as well.